Uh, ben is here now with uh, all the business news. Morning to you, Ben. Morning to you both. Yeah, we're talking about rising fuel prices because that was one of the big increases uh, in inflation or one of the reasons that inflation uh, has continued to rise. Uh, morning to you. Yeah, it's easy to think of it as just another number when we're talking about inflation. But remember, it tells us how quickly prices are going up. Well, the latest official figures show that inflation hit 2.3% last month. That is the highest in more than three years. And it means that on average, prices are more expensive than the same time last year. Well, that gives the indication of what was pushing it up because it was the cost of fuel. It was one of the biggest factors that helped raise prices. Uh, petrol and diesel was up by 1.2% between January and February. So the big question, what does that mean for the prices we pay at the pump? Well, this time last year, the average price across the country for a litre of both petrol and diesel was about £1.04. Well, today it's £1.19 for unleaded and £1.21 for diesel. So what does it mean? What will happen next? Steve Irwin is with me. He's from the oil trading firm Portland Fuel. Steve, morning to you. Morning, Ben. Um, just talk us through that rising oil prices because clearly we know oil is traded on the international markets. We've seen a fall in the value of the pound. Does that just mean that oil is more expensive for us? It is locally in, in pounds or pence per litre, yes. Um, there has been some good news with the rise in the inflation figures that has pushed up the value of the pound. So we are seeing a bit of a dip in in fuel prices on, on the back of that. But fuel prices have been rising on the wholesale market in US dollars per tonne over the last year. And as you figures intimated, a rise of 1.2% between January and February. But if we compare that to last year, it's a rise of between 15 to 20% in the price of fuel at the pumps that we're seeing compared to this time last year. Yeah, and that's the bit where most people will start to feel the, the sort of the pain in the pocket, won't it? Because it's that difference that it means we're paying out every week, we fill up and it's costing us more, so we've got less spare money to spend elsewhere. Um, just talk me through the proportion of how much is the wholesale price, and then there's all sorts of other things on the tax and profit and refining. That will all make up the price that we pay the pump. Absolutely. So the wholesale price is between 30 and 35 pence a litre at the moment. Um, we then pay 57.95, nearly 58 pence in duty. And then, of course, once you add all, all of the extra little bits, which are transport and storage and those kind of things, which amount to between 5 and 10 pence, and then you've got G uh, VAT on the whole lot, which is 20%. So roughly all of the costs without VAT are about a pound at the moment, and then the VAT brings it up at the pumps to £1.20. Yeah, and it's amazing all those other bits that contribute to the price that we actually pay. They're not affected by anything. They are, you know, by the international markets or by inflation. It's just that wholesale Absolutely. price we're talking about here. Um, let's talk about what happens next. Um, you know, most people watching will want to know whether it's going to get more and more expensive. Any, any forecast for us? Well, there is some good news. In the next couple of weeks, we are expecting the drops in the wholesale prices that we've seen in the last couple of weeks. We're expecting in those to filter through mm -hmm. so fuel prices at the pumps should come down by a penny or two within the next couple of weeks but everybody's looking towards the 25th of May when OPEC next meet and to see whether or not they're going to prolong the production cuts which have led to the recent rises over the last couple of months. Yeah it's going to be really interesting OPEC of course the oil cartel that controls this sort of thing. Uh, Steve it's good to talk to you thanks very much uh, and uh, more from us uh, a little later because we're going to talk about the effect on everything else what else has been going up in price as a result of that figure we got on inflation yesterday so more from me after seven. See you then. Thanks Ben. Thank you.